there are kids in this world who are different, special. They look like us and they act like us, but they are not us. And one of them is missing. Cyrus, you hear that? The hoverboard turned on for me. You think it's safe to come in? Sure, I mean, it's still chained up, so it's not like it can attack you. Yet. Listen to that motor hum. Been way too long. Right? We really missed you, Hubby. Hubby? You got a better name? Hubby it is. Look at the chains, they're all scratched up. Yeah, I saw that. I'm guessing every time I've been in danger the last few weeks, Hubby tried to come help. I'm sorry, buddy. That had to be super frustrating and slightly painful. You do realize you're talking to an electronic contraption, Holiday? Says the guy who talks to his robot, Hermione. I'm just saying, a hoverboard doesn't have feelings. Shh! You're making him mad. Okay, I'm going to release him. Why don't you open the garage door, just in case? Okay. I'll just stand way back here. Let me just... And unwind that. There you go. You're free. Doesn't that feel nice? So, as I was saying, we have a plan for the night of the school concert, so we need your help, hubby. What's he doing? It's escaping. Hubby, come back! Hoverboard? Here, hubby. Again, not a puppy. A hunk of wires and computer chips. Which clearly have emotions programmed into them. Wait, wait, shh. You hear that? Up there. Look. Why is hubby chilling with those pigeons on a power line? Yo, I see you up there. How am I supposed to get up there? Uh Uh-uh. You come down here. Are you seriously having an argument with a hunk of fiberglass? I'll just go up and get it. No! If you won't listen to us, there's no way our plan will work. He's just a hoverboard. We can program him to do what we want once we grab him. I'll just (sighs) climb up and... You're going to scare him off. Stop! Fine. Listen, hubby, I know you're mad. I shouldn't have locked you up. I just wanted to be a normal kid. I mean, no one else I know has a hoverboard as their personal bodyguard. No one else I know has a hoverboard, period. But here's the thing I realized. You're not the one keeping me from being a normal kid. I'm never going to be normal as long as all these mystery people from Whittier are chasing me. I have to bring them out into the open, figure out who they are, and I can't do it alone. I need my friends and my family, but most of all, I need you. Hubby, I'm sorry I locked you up and kept you from doing your job. I won't do that again. Please forgive me. Please come down and help me now, so we can all be free, eventually. Here he comes. You did it, Halls. You won him over. Thank you, Javi. That's a good boy. Okay, let's work out the plan for the night at the concert. Javi, there's this concert, and we're going to bring you. But you have to promise. I think he wants me to get on. Holiday, you don't have time to go flying right now. Sure I do. But what about the plan? We've got plenty of time for that. Javi, let's fly! Holiday! Whoa, this is high! Hubby, let me drive for a while. Okay, if I lean this way... Yes! We went left! Woohoo! Okay, let me bend my knees. Cool! We just swooped down. Okay, got it. Okay, but Holiday, come on back down now. Wow, look at these geese flying. Can we get up to them, hubby? What if I 
stretch out this way. Amazing! Whoa! So that's what happens when you fly through a bunch of geese. <laughs> How's that for normal? And touchdown! Was that a smooth landing or what? Okay, congratulations, but that's not what we should be doing right now. Okay, sure. Make sure we can actually control hubby is more important for our plan, right? Sorry, hubby, not control. We work together, right, Cyrus? That's right. You, me, mom, dad, Bertie, and hubby. We're going to bring the Whittier spy... Brinley. Or whoever it is, out into the open. She thinks she'll be setting another trap for us, but we'll be setting one for her. 